All right, so since this is the first Fighting Fanatics stream since NDA Lift, we'll be going over some basic things to get everyone started here. And I've been nominated to do the uh, initial stream for it, so. My name is MPK, it's Mr. Pretty Kitty, all spread out. You can call me Keat, Kitty, whatever floats your boat. Oleander player, mainly, and was an Arizona player, but things happened and Oleander's best on Killit. I'll probably pick up some more characters or learn everyone else later on just so I can help other people out that needs guidance on how to use characters or how to learn matchups and stuff like that. But that kind of future state stuff. All today is just a straight up, here's, here's how you play. Yo, it's Thai. <laughs> Yo, what's up Thai? That's my boy. He, he's the guy that made me stop playing Skullgirls. Shout outs to everyone in the chat, the OGs, Kato, uh, Rich Jammer, Thai, and some other people that might be dropping in. All right, let's get started. Uh, we're gonna just go ahead and get into some basic training mode stuff with Arizona since she's like the most go-to character to learn how to play in my opinion because she's basically everything that she basically has everything you, that you can use to get started. Yeah, right, Thai. You can, you can say that, but sure. I'm gonna go ahead and just pick default colors and I'm gonna pick the deer as the opponent because I, I freaking hate deer. And I, I'll let you guys choose which stage. Tina's, Bovita Cheese is random, Arizona Ice Tea, Kickflip Ollie, and Pap and Bomb. Paps, I heard Paps. Let's make it extra depressing. So to get started, there. Just get some basic fighting game stuff down. I'm gonna start with off some basic mechanics and basic fighting game things like uh, buttons, specials, magic series, and supers. Every character has light attacks, um, medium attacks, heavy attacks, a launcher. Uh, everyone also has a universal command normal. And some characters have other command normals, such as an overhead. These buttons can chain into each other, so you can go to light, medium, heavy, uh, low, light, medium, heavy, or uh, light, 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 medium, light, light, medium, medium, light, light, medium, medium, heavy, and so on. Even it's a launcher. Uh, some characters can also command normal out of the other normals. There's air attacks as well. There's also air command normals. Uh, you can see that later, like with Oleander. And air normals also function the same way as the grounded normals. Where you can chain the air normals in a row to like light, medium, heavy. And chain out of it too. There are also things called specials. This is where you use a special command plus a normal attack to do the command. So say we're playing Arizona and she has this thing. You'll see that she has several different types of specials. Her 236 or curl circle forward or the down forward series is her headbutts. She has a light one, a medium one, and a heavy one. She also has a the magic version, but we'll get to magic later on. Uh, she also has stomps, which is 2 2. Medium. Heavy. Uh, you can also change these as well the quarter circle forward headbutts, as well as the stomps into each other, but you're going to do uh, one after one. So, let's say we do light stomp. We can't go into light stomp, medium stomp, and then heavy stomp. We can only do one of the two after a light stomp. So. Or like heavy or just one medium one heavy so like heavy combo system it's pretty simple it's light medium heavy launch light medium heavy light medium heavy launch you get as many launches as you need until the bar at the very top up here that completely fills and then your combo starts getting heavier and heavier They drop out. Uh, let's see. There's one wall bounce, one ground bounce too. So that's ground bounce. Uh, 
Okay, we'll just move on to the magic series then. Okay, let me explain the magic series, the magic uh, system anyway uh, before we get started with that. Because each character has different magical properties with their magic meter, which is at the bottom left down there. The little red bar that's above the super meter. And then to the right, uh, Velvet has her blue meter down here. Uh, Arizona's functions as basically slots she can use for uh, different magic uh, commands. So she has the magic headbutt, which uses one magic. Uh, and she has the quick escape, which uses one magic. And she can go under projectiles and things like that or through the opponent. She also has the magic stomp. It's completely full screen and it's unblockable too. But we'll get over blocking later on. Yeah, that's it for her magic series, I believe. Oh, no, she has one more, and it's counter. Uses one magic, and if they press a button, they'll get counter. That's honestly it for combos. It's just doing... Changing the normals into a launcher or a special. And then either continuing after the special, or using one of your ground bounces or your wall bounces to continue the combo. Super. It's it's a lot easier than what pe than what I expected. It's not a lot to actually explain. You guys are feel, can feel free to ask questions if you aren't too uh, sure of something. Light, medium, heavy. Light, medium, heavy. Launch. Light, light, medium, heavy. Light, medium, heavy. Light, medium, heavy. Special. Ah, uh, ropes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Gotta explain how to actually get the, the magic. Uh, with Arizona, she can get magic by capturing them with the rope. There's different, three different ways you can capture with rope. It's the, the regular way, which is just pressing the magic button, uh, the low way, uh, as well as the air way. You see at the bottom left, the magic actually fills up every time you get a rope. I'm trying to explain how simple the system is. Uh, for what you can do like so you can do light medium heavy into a special and then into magic And it works It's pretty much just Light medium heavy Launcher or special into magic or something. It's basically a progression covered the combo system is pretty straightforward and linear It's light medium heavy launch into stuff or light medium special into stuff uh, movement options, there's back dashing, there's forward dashing. Uh, some characters have a forward actual dash and some have a run. Uh, some characters have a super jump, forward and backwards. And some characters have a short hop, but everyone has a normal jump. Oleander is the only character that has a, a, a double jump as far as I'm aware. And then Tianho has a fly. Just be aware of what normals move you forward and which don't. Like that crouching medium moves her forward. Uh, Medium headbutt moves her forward a lot. Heavy headbutt moves her forward a lot. Light doesn't. Stomp doesn't move her forward at all. So just be aware of which moves forward and which doesn't. Uh, like quick escape. That moves her all the way across the screen. Get, get ready for some underwater action because this is probably going to be a few frames in the way. Oh, good lord. No, no arc, no. Yeah, this will definitely be underwater. <laughs> Good lord. We're gonna go over some defensive options now uh, with blocking, push blocking, and air blocking. So if he's just pressing buttons at me, and if you hold back or down back, it'll cause him, it'll cause you to block uh, whatever attacks they use. So just. All those attacks are low blocked. Low blocking, it works. Stand blocking only works for normals that are that hit mid, which is like these normals. Any low attack will hit that. So if he's standing, he's stand blocking. Low head attacks just go straight through that. Stand blocking also blocks overheads, so that elbow you see is an overhead. It also all air attacks are overheads, by the way. So if you're blow blocking and with someone's in the air and doing an attack, you will get a hit. So you have to stand block those. Uh, 
You can also block in the air. So if you're just holding up back, you can block in the air and be completely safe, really, until you hit the ground, which then you have to make sure you block correctly. Well, okay, yeah, Tina's like the only one that has an air normal that's not an overhead. That's like the only character I've seen so far. And that's because it's so low to the ground, it kind of requires to not be an overhead. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that everyone has a throw. And you do that by pressing B plus C at the same time. You can also tech the throw. So if I press, yeah, if you do throw again while they do what I throw on you, you can tech the throw. And it's pretty lenient with the amount of time you have to take the throw. Like, you can do it extremely late. So it's... So there's some states in the game where it puts you in a stagger state. You can't... As far as I'm aware, uh, you can't stagger out of it or anything like that. So if you get caught in, say, Paprika's command grab, you're in this stagger state and they can combo off of that and do things off of it. It's the same state that Arizona's... Uh, normal magic uh, rope does so right there you can see she's staggering one thing defensive wise so if you're blocking things you can also push block and it'll push them away and give you a lot of uh, breathing room so if you it's like yuck. he's just in your face just press the uh, push block uh, you, to, to push block you press two attack buttons at the same time so light plus medium or heavy and medium just one of the two at the same time you can do the crouching standing or in the air yeah it, it works in the air it's, see it does work in the air let's cover the teching system next it's Basically, there's two states to knockdowns. One is the hard knockdown. We see that she actually turns red. That means she cannot tech. And then there's the soft knockdown, which is where she flashes blue. And she is able to tech then. And teching, you just hold an attack button, just any attack button really. And then you'll tech either, uh, depending on which direction you're facing. So if you're holding an attack button and you press and hold backwards, you'll tech backwards. If you're holding an attack button and holding forwards, you'll tech forwards. Uh, if you're just holding an attack button, you'll tech in place. Note on teching itself, uh, forward techs and back techs all are throwable. So if say you're in the corner here and you decide to tech backwards, you cannot do it today. Yeah, you see that counter? That means you cannot tech that throw. It, the Soft knockdown, uh, forward and back techs are throwable, so you cannot tech those. So just be aware of that. With air and with air teching, it's a lot. Uh, it's not really safer. It's just that you can tech the throw in the air. Uh, it's just the throwable condition is only on ground teching forward and backwards. Now you see the little bitty black bar at the very top underneath my health bar. Uh, that's the juggle decay bar, and you can see that on Paprika side, it fills up the more she gets hit. And once it gets full, they start flashing sparks. There are no, air, there's only one air unblockable and that's because it's an air command grab and that's Tina's 236C. So know that you can't do like a re air reset into something air unblockable. Well, correct me, uh, uh, actually that's wrong. Arizona's air rope is air unblockable. That, what is it? Yeah, it's kind of small though. So if they're in the air and that that rope as well as Tina's 236C air command grabber is the only air unblockables in the game. Actually, I don't think that's an air unblockable either. Do the teleport again? The teleport C? Yeah, that's not air unblockable. I was right. Uh, even the universal anti-air, the 6A, that's not air unblockable either. That's completely blockable. So like if he's in the air, see? No grounded normal is uh, air unblockable. The only other unblockable in the game is the only other player unblockable move is the EX Stomp, but that's got so much startup in it. Yeah, Arc, that's really not a kind of resetty move. Uh, back to Juggle Decay, when it gets full, uh, their gravity just starts increasing, so it's a lot harder to keep them up. And if they're on a grounded state, when the bar is full, they'll actually 
uh, transition into an in-air state. So you can't just continue doing ground moves. So you can't do like loop a ground uh, combo over and over again because it'll put them into an, an air state after the bar is filled. Okay, yeah, I can just totally show you the easy way to show a JD combo just falling out. See, that's an, that, that would be an infinite if the JD wasn't in the Juggle Decay. See, it, she just drops out. Also, no move is ex no move except supers are uh, hard knockdown once the JD is filled. So we fill up the JD and then do sweep, which is normally hard knockdown. See, right now that's not full. She splashes red. It's hard knockdown. But when it's filled, sweep, blue. She can tech forward, tech back, and just tech it all. So if a bar is filled, they can soft tech at any point unless you do super. Also, it does drain when you tech. So just be aware of that in case you get hit by a reset and then you end up dying. That's pretty much it for the juggle decay. Uh, moving on to already covered magic really is pretty different for each character. So you just got to pick and choose which character you want to uh, find out. But it's pretty universal. You can do buttons in the magic. Uh, the fruits. Oh, that hits a lot, actually. Wow, that hits a lot. And it gives super meter. <laughs> when they tech, the J the Juggle Decay does reset. If they do not tech, it does stay there and then slowly drain. So uh, if you're trying to do reset heavy things and they just do not tech, uh, your resets won't be as effective as if they did tech. Let's go over the super uh, system. It's pretty, it is basically two things. If you have one meter at the very bottom, it says one, two, or three. If you have one meter, you can do a level one super, which is inputted by quarter circle forward and then two attack buttons. So light, medium, plus down forward. For level two, you can see that I have a number two down there. You're able to do the uh, second part of a level one. So if I do the level one input and then do the level two input, which is down back the two buttons, it'll initiate the uh, level two part. And then you can, and then depending on the character, you can do uh, either continue off the combo or something else after it. Normally level twos are pretty much combo extensions and level ones are combo enders, uh, unless you're Palm who gets uh, to combo out of it. Yeah, pretty much that. It's, it's, it's to uh, basically prevent like those types of situations where you're just in a reset over and over and over and over and over again. So if people want to tech and continue playing, they, they can just stay in that situation. I know that if you play against like bubble boots, you will be in that situation often. So not teching is kind of in your favor, but you can also do things like late teching. So actually, uh, Rich is going to do a combo on me. And then once he drops the combo, you can see that I can tech either right then or tech late or not tech at all let's go ahead see how late that was that tech was you can choose when you want to tech there's a certain time period you can choose to tech so this is be a quick tech right here oh well Uh, it once it's filled, it's pretty much just it actually fills up more behind the scenes. So like the longer your combo is, uh, the more gravity you'll start to have. So you can't just fill it up and then do something that will continuously keep them in the air. Like they'll they will eventually drop out. Uh, like with Arizona six A, actually lifts them up a lot. So if I do like this. Uh, 
they will eventually drop out because either you're pushed back too far or the gravity kicks in uh, uh, too much. So infinites are pretty much non-existent in this game as far as I'm aware. And the longer combos, by the way, with like 6A involved actually does a lot less damage because the damage scaling is based on which level normal you've used. So like 5C does a lot more damage than 6A obviously, but doing it later on uh, in the combo actually scales it a lot harder so like if uh you're doing like light medium heavy into that and you do two jabs that actually scaled it a lot more than if you just went in straight into 5c that's kind of uh universal with most fighting games anyway actually that pretty much covers supers since it's basically if you have a level one you can do a level one if you have level two you can do the level two combo extender there's a minimum damage i believe there's a minimum damage that supers have so if you're like full screen with arizona you would do a lot less damage than if you were like say up close with her uh, both of it do, both of it does die. So you can see that there's not a lot of very damaging combos in this game, but you can still kill within like three to four hits, depending on how much meter and resources that you have. But normally, jab scale it heavy, heavily, uh, 6A scales it heavily, and whatever normal you're using scales it, along with how far along you are in the combo. So I believe, I think there's, as far as I'm aware, there's like a certain level where, no, I think it'll just keep scaling until you do super or a different type of... Yeah, it's like something like that. Oh yeah, I forgot one, <laughs> one more thing. You can do OTGs. Low attacks can OTG, so if I do that, like if they're in a state to be juggled, like say a tumble, you can OTG them with a low normal, and it's any no low normal really. Only normal, low normal. So you see that I did medium and it did not work. No, you cannot continue the OTG. Then you only get one OTG. So if I do like that into that, there's a certain point you get where it'll just make them invul. <laughs> you want to see the cow eat the apple? <laughs> They will turn invul after a bit, and it just won't, uh, then they'll tech, and then they'll still have the JD, so. Also, the fruit and, uh, stuff is all, uh, ow. It's all set to, uh, light attack, so if you do jab, you'll eat, and it's only jab. Well, not, not really arc. It's only if there's like a setup for it, really. Like, uh, if you just never tech, you might take on like a little bit of extra damage, like a couple OTGs, but they'll never be able to follow up the OTG. Afterwards, if even if you did get, do get hit, you'll still have a full JD meter. So you'll be knocked out of the combo easily. And then you can either choose the tech afterwards after you're in a better position. But anyway, you should be blocking when you wake up anyway, so. Uh, also, one thing with super jumps, if you cross up over the opponent and you press the normal button, so you see like all the attacks normally just stay facing the opponent. I, I, I wouldn't say that, Thigh, because once you actually start seeing how pressure works here, it's either extremely, extremely strong or just non-existent. Like with Arizona, her, uh, let's go to the corner here, Rich. Like just block low and push block. Like, she, even if you do push block, it'll she's still in your face, depending on what normal she presses. And even right here, like, the offense is stupid strong with Arizona. See, like, <laughs> it's stupid strong depending on which character you have. Like, with Oleana, she doesn't really have offense. She has, uh, keep away. Yeah, you can totally read the push block timings as well as just do normals and specials that completely negate push block. So like, say, like, Rich, push block, just push block. See, like, you can read the push block easily and then just punish it, because that is completely unblockable as far as I'm aware. Like.
See, completely unblockable. Even if you're trying to jump out of it. I'll try it again. Just try to jump out of it. Boom. See? And even then, like, just watch this. Just jump out of it, Rich. It's 50-50. It's <laughs> Either I go low and you eat the rope and have to hold this 50-50. Because this is really 50-50. Really. Either you hold the rope and you hold the uh, the Oki, or you jump out and have to decide whether or not you want to eat the air rope. Yeah, our Arizona is pretty offensive. And with Arizona, she still has like 5C into like... Look at that. Yeah, multi game moves just to negate push block anyway, so... And you can just straight up read when they're pushing push block and then just delay the normal. Oh, she can. Like, push block guard cancel is in this game. But, yeah, you can push block guard cancel in TFH. So, if you're doing like a block sun, it's still going to be like underwater rich. So, Ugh, it's 300 ping. See, push block car cancel still really does exist. Yeah, see? I can totally get it out of it. Like, even with that kind of move. Yeah, Velvet has a gradually increasing... Uh, magic meter. So the farther away she is, the the faster it regens. <laughs> no way, Ark. It is totally not in full on startup. Um, Oleander's is though the magic one. That one's in full on startup. All the other ones aren't. For Oleander to get magic, she just reads. Ow. Ow. Uh, what else is there to say? Talk about <laughs> that bull. Well, I can't show that even though you do have a full uh, JD bar, you can still do long combos. Yeah, so you can totally get long 100 hit combos even with full JD. It's just that depending on how much uh, resources you have. Oh yeah, double jump, jump, jump again. It's not involved. The dash is completely not involved. Um, it's only got a very small, uh, low to the ground hurt box. The DP magic from Velvet is a uh, reversal. It is involved. Velvet's 214P is, yeah, it's basically just one strength right now. I don't, but uh, it's only for uh, like getting the, the knockdown like that, like going in the super, like to do that and then go into super, like directly in the super. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, there it goes. It's pretty much just a, <laughs> a thing to combo into super with. Oh, it's negative two, my guy. You, you cannot punish it. It's, it's completely negative two. 
Oh, it's, it, it's not punishable. It's completely 100% safe. The fastest thing in the game is Arizona's uh, super, and that's three frame. And I think 5A is three frame. So you can't punish it. Do the magic DP. No, there isn't. Like block afterwards. Yeah, see, you can't you can't punish it. So it's completely safe. But the thing is about it is, <laughs> it's only like low on the ground. So <laughs> if they jump, you're dead. Yes, you can push block guard cancel into it. Anything like. Yeah, you can totally push power guard, cancel into it, but it does take up two magic stocks. So if unless you always have six magic, then yeah, for Velvet to do her combo, she kind of needs the magic, like the bigger combo. She kind of needs the magic. So you just doing all the time with push power guard, cancel kind of doesn't seem smart. I mean, you can totally just do push power guard, cancel to negate all offense. Yeah, you can do uh, the magic DP into super. Like, you can totally just OS that into the super on hitter block. So. And, like, it's not like. It is not like you, they can't read the push bar guard console anyway. So, it, if you're doing it. Yeah, you gotta decide. Like, it's not like it'll be free. Because push bar, push blocking itself is like half free right now. Like you can delay the the buttons to get through push block or do what gets everybody in this game. Just double jump with Oleander and you'll get it through it. Yes, you can combo after it. You can combo after that was level two. Yeah, everyone's free to double jump. Yeah, you can actually. I think you, I don't know if you can combo after pro speed though. You might be able to. You can't change direction off of air throw. Like, so if you do an air throw at all, you can't like air throw him back into the corner. You can only air throw him forward. You can take air throws too. <laughs> it still has that very lenient. Also, there's one thing in this game that I'm still trying to figure out why is in. It's, uh, you can pretty much uh, cancel backdash in anything as well. So if you do, you can do back, you can't do like wave dashing in this game. But you can do like backdash into 6A, which is the uh, anti air. So you can do like backdash into 6A to use the invo frames to, and then into 6A. Yeah, it's extremely huge. But people still get caught by it. And plus, it uh, tech rolling is free to it anyway. Like you can do backdash into specials. Like backdash teleport. Or the coveted backdash forward dash. kind of weird no you can't tech while tech rolling no you can't tech throws after tech rolling you can tech you can neutral tech and tech a throw but you can't tech roll forward or backwards and tech a throw yeah they're completely involved uh, uh, otherwise you know i kind of wish her horn would like spiral up while she's doing that so it looks like the candy cane or the barber shop thing because that would be pretty neat yeah, you're completely in vol, uh during the tech roll until the very end, which they can uh, throw you from. Like tech, like tech buttons exist here too. <laughs> Just ask Bubble; he tech buttons a lot. Uh, this is some good questions. What's up, Bubble?
Well, this has been the first Fighting Fanatic stream. It was... <laughs> It was kind of okay, kind of on the spot thing. Um, once we get started doing other streams, it'll be a lot more streamlined, and I have there'll be a lot <laughs> better streams in the future. Uh, I'm the only bully around here. Uh, Born's a good velvet. I am the one that taught Bubble, and Rich is dancing. Uh, good stream, good stream. Catch you later. <laughs>